This video will explain the differences between extracted text and transcriptions and show you how you can use extracted text as an aid. Extracted text is used to refer to machine-generated text, whether through optical character recognition, artificial intelligence, or other technologies. These tools can be really useful, but they're not perfect. So the catalog only displays extracted text when we're reasonably confident with its accuracy. However, even then, we don't think extracted text is a replacement for transcription done by humans. You can discover if there is extracted text for a record right here above the digital image. You'll see a number 1 if there is one and a 0 if there isn't. To view the extracted text, just click on the button. The extracted text should be pretty accurate, but you can see here there's a stray comma, and if you look down here after the word not, it looks like maybe some bleed through came through from the other side. But you'll notice that there's no way to make this box active. I can't edit the extracted text. So to turn this imperfect machine-generated extracted text into a proper transcription, I'm first going to open my transcription box. Now I'll highlight the extracted text, copy it, and then I'll click on the Start Transcribing button over here. And then I'll paste the text into the transcription box. Now I can start editing. One thing that you'll almost always have to change is divided words. So here you can see Chinese has been divided over two lines. So we want to remove that hyphen and put the word back together so that it's searchable. This example is pretty straightforward, but you'll find pages that have handwritten notes or a stamp, and those will really confuse the computer and need extra attention. Once I've looked over the text a couple of times, and I'm happy with how it looks, I can save and publish. We think this tool can be really useful for volunteers who want to speed up the transcription process. But as you can see, it's not a replacement for human transcribers. And of course, if you don't want to use extracted text, feel free to ignore it and simply transcribe records the way you always have. If you have any questions about using extracted text for transcriptions, please email us at catalog at nara.gov.